Hello, today we'll be going over restrictions and rules and how to set these within Print Manager Plus. Okay, restrictions and rules can be set on users, groups, organizational units, and printers being the overriding one. All right, so you can set different restrictions and rules based on all of these objects here. Let's just take a printer for now. Double click a printer, click on rules and restrictions, and here you have listed all of your restrictions. And we'll go over these starting with title. Here we can set a title restriction. You can whitelist or blacklist characters that are in the title. Here we'll add ESPN.com. So we'll blacklist anybody printing with these this text string in the document title itself. All right, and then we can click OK. And here we have edit default action. And you can set these per restriction or on a global basis. Once a restriction is reached, what do you want to do with the job? Delete it from the print queue, pause it, allow it, hold it for web release, or confirm it to be printed through the print client pop-up. You can send them a message. And this message can do, be put through as through the pop-up or as well as via email. In this message, you can insert job metrics as well. All right. These metrics and uh, in, in configuring these defaults for these messages, they can be used separately for every single restriction or rule. All right. So we'll select OK there and we'll go on to the next restriction, reprinting. This is great for users who are duplicating their printing on accident by double clicking the printer icon. So you could say, if a user duplicates a print job within two seconds, what do you want to do with that second job? Delete it? All right, page size. Here you can select page sizes. And again, you almost can do a blacklist or whitelist of the page size. You can allow it or deny it based on these page sizes. And you can also add page sizes as well. The next one would be page count. Pretty self-explanatory. If the job is more than, say, five pages, no matter what, you can then set it to delete, pause, etc. Job size, again, self-explanatory. If the job is more than this many bytes, kilobytes, or megabytes, what would you like to do with a print job? The next one is job cost. All right. Based on the profile and cost of that printer, what would you like to do? Here, if any job is over a balance of $2, again, what, do you, what would you like to do with a print job? Here we have duplex. Do you want to force the users to print duplex? Or you can also force them to print simplex on one side of the piece of paper. The next one is daytime. Here is edit allowed times. So during the day, you can select it by day or the week, and you can say users are only allowed to print between, say, 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. What would you like to do the jobs outside of this time? The next one is copies. You can say here, users are only allowed to print no more than two copies per document. The next one is color and black and white. You can tell the user that they're not allowed to print color or they're not allowed to print black and white. All right, so those are the restrictions. And these restrictions will all now show up under rules. So let's uncheck these and we'll go to a rule that we already have in here. And this is called ESPN color. Let's edit the rule. Here what I've done is we've already have a title set ESPN.com to blacklist. And if it's color, what do we want to do with the job? So you can apply criteria to these rules. All rule will be applied when all criteria is met. Any rule will be applied when any criteria is met. Or none. Rule will be applied only when no criteria is met. And you can add 
as many of the restrictions onto a rule as you'd like. We'll click Next. We've named it, and then what do you want to do with the job? In this case, we want to delete it, send a pop-up message, send an email, and then here you can add administrators or managers or whoever you'd like to let them know that that rule has been hit. You can also, which comes in very handy, save a copy of the spool file of that print job. All right, so let's click Finish. We have a rule set here. We'll click OK. So there is your rules and restrictions. This comes in very handy in saving you a lot of resources on your network printing. Now, if we go to reports, when those restrictions and rules are met, and if you're deleting the print jobs, you can actually run a report. It'll tell you monetarily how much money you've saved, or how many pages you saved, or how many trees you saved. If we go to savings report, and here you can see savings by user, printer, group, organizational unit, uh, printer group, etc. And this comes in very handy and actually seeing the resources that you did save. All right, well, there you go. Um, thank you very much for your time.